การแข่งขันยูโรที่คุณชื่นชอบโอ้อิตาลี that's I mean look we played that Euro really well really well but we were not good in the final apart from the last 25 minutes we were chasing the game and then and then happened what happened but before that Italy played way better than us uh, and I, I don't know why on the day they, played, they they didn't play so well in the tournament in the final they played well and it was the total opposite and so to be able to win the Italian way because it's usually them that like you feel like they don't do much and then suddenly boom you lose the game this is exactly what we did to them we won the Italian way Having said that, they got the revenge in 2006 because we played way better than them, and they won the Italian way. But look, it was it was a nice one to be able to 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 win like that. Although the tournament we played well, but in the final, no. And so they had so many opportunities. I only remember Del Piero had two one v one. He missed them, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, uh, Silva will turn makes it one one, and then winning winning a final on a golden goal. Against Italy, when they thought they had won the game, and then you know when you you celebrate and you over celebrate and you like, fuck, and you turn and you like still five minutes to go. Oh my god! If they if they if they level it, how stupid we're gonna look because we we all, we did over celebrate. And but when you can celebrate and it's over in the final, oh, it's like uh, I mean that goal of Trezeguet, the way he hit it, and we knew it was over. You can just run for days. You know it's over. There's no putting the ball back in the middle. There's no like, come down, guys. Let's keep it serious. There's nothing, none of that. You can just go ballistic, and this is that's that's what happened. So that always gonna be like, you know, winning a final on the golden goal. Uh, how do you? I mean, difficult to top that.